Hey, welcome back to the little surprise turned up in a trash can in beautiful downtown Denton. It was a Bobcat Cub now being cared for by the team at Chakarosa, a local nonprofit for Animal Education Center in Pilot Point. Thank you so much for being here, Scott Edwards. And uh, I don't know, a lot of people were scared by this thing because they heard it was a Bobcat Cub, but it seems so sweet this morning. <laughs> yeah, we, we call him Bart. He's not, a, he's not overly aggressive. He's a little freaked out because he's been in someone's home. He's been at the animal um, control facility, and, and then he wound up at our facility yesterday. So he hadn't eaten in a couple days, so he's got a full belly, and he's, he's kind of adjusting. Yeah, you guys are going to care for him for how long, and what's going to happen to him? What's, what's Bart's future look like? Well, like all wild animals, they need to be in the wild. They don't need to be raised in cages. Our animals that we have are rescues that could not be released. Okay. And so we hope that when he's about six months old that he'll be good and um, he'll be ready to go back out into the wild and live a full life. So in, in uh, right around the courthouse square in Denton, this guy shows up literally in a trash can. How did how did that come to be? Any idea or just guessing? <clears throat> well, Tim, the, the funny thing is on these animals, we get the story, it dribbles in. So yeah. the, the original story is, well, we picked this uh, bobcat up out of a trash can. Well, then last night on Facebook, the people that actually found the cat that kept it in their house and slept with it in their bed, you know, for two nights, <laughs> did, did animal control ticket, and then we got it from animal control. So. Um, it was supposedly found in a trash can off the square, but he's been, you know, he's made some travels in the last few days. So. I do have to say, if I saw it just wandering on the street, I would probably think it was a cat, too, until you really look at the markings. But still, I'd probably just think it was a typical house cat. <laughs> well, and, and a little warning for people, though, is that if you do find one, you don't want to try to raise it under. It's not even legal to do so, is it? No, it is illegal. It's a native Texas species, and so they are very protected. And uh, you know the, the fines are substantial, as i.e. the bear that you guys found right. about three weeks ago. So you've got to have a license to do this. It is it, you, the, the people who took it into their house and thought, you know, nice little kitty. Were te technically trying to do the nice thing, but technically breaking the law. Yeah, it is the right thing. We all want to rescue animals. We yeah. want to do the right thing. Our hearts are in the right place. But the problem is these are wild animals. They have special diets. And, and mm -hmm. the, the normal person isn't equipped to feed a bear or a bobcat or something from the wild. Right. You know, I mean, the, the, their, their nutrition is a lot of times something that's things that they can't even purchase. Yeah, you, you mentioned that bear that was uh, that was in Corinth that was rescued. You guys wound up taking that bear. This one right here, this guy had found it in Oklahoma, brought it home to Corinth. I don't know what he's doing here, letting him lunch on some food, uh, late night snack, I don't know. But you guys wound up taking that bear, and, and the bear has since, um, because you already have a bear at your facility, you've moved this bear on to another facility. Yeah, Yogi, we, we picked him up, I guess it was about three or four weeks ago, and yeah. we had rescued a bear last year that's waiting for an exhibit. Now, we oh, saw okay. Barnaby and Bailey, they're now 500 pounds of bears that you bottle raised oh, about yeah. four and a half years ago. And so, Those are big ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're full up on bears. Yeah, but okay. at some point, uh, the animals, if they're around humans, they're not going to do well back in the wild. Right. Now, once they're imprinted, the difference, the difference is, Tim, we talked earlier, is, you know, a bobcat can be a little imprinted and turn loose in the wild. Right. It's a cat. It's going to be stealth on its own. and only weighs 40 pounds. Right. But if you imprint a 500-pound bear, it's going to push your roar down, walk in your house, and sit down on the sofa. think it belongs you. there. Yeah, yeah so, right. I mean, there's, a, there's a little difference. Well, thank you for the work you do. We appreciate it, and uh, good luck, Bart. We've got a link to <laughs> to Sharka Rosa on uh, our website on fox4news.com. You can find out more information. You may want to help them out as well because it's Maybe. not cheap to feed these guys. No, hey, we've no. got more to come here on Good Day. Uh, rain on the radar, but Evan is drawing a line in the, well, not the sand, maybe the mud right now. We'll find out what that means. Also coming up.